My husband and I recently spent a long weekend in Orange, a small town in regional New South Wales, about 260 kilometres west from the centre of Sydney. We found Orange to be a great escape from the city, with rolling countryside, nature walks, hikes, local produce, and its cooler climate makes it perfect for growing grapes and, of course, producing wine. For accommodation, we stayed at the Oriana Hotel on Woodward Street. The hotel has rooms themed by different countries and we were more than impressed with the size of our King Terrace room with stylish decor and Russian memorabilia. Our room came with an ensuite, air conditioning, a TV with Netflix readily available, along with a kettle, toaster, coffee station with a small coffee machine and a bar fridge with complimentary drinks. We also received two complimentary drink vouchers for the hotel's bar, the Oriana Saloon Lounge, which we used the following night with dinner. The cleanliness of the room was second to none and all in all we were really happy with our room. For an additional $20, the hotel offers a small buffet-style breakfast, which includes fruit, yogurt, bacon and eggs, tomatoes, mushrooms, toast, with a variety of spreads, tea, coffee and juice. And there's my husband patiently waiting for me to finish filming so he can enjoy his breakfast. Mount Canoble stands about 1,395 metres above sea level and is a really great lookout point nearby the centre of Orange. It's actually an ancient volcano and its peak boasts stunning views of the city of Orange and surrounding areas. Unfortunately for us, the summit was closed on the day that we went, so we couldn't see the views from the top, but we ended up doing a smaller trail, which is just down the hill a little bit, called Young Men Canoblis, and it was about 1.7 kilometers, which was long enough for our fitness levels at the moment, and the views were still pretty great. If you're not quite up for hiking, but you still want to get the blood flowing and go for a bit of a stroll, then you might want to check out the Botanical Gardens for a bit of a slower pace. It's about a five minute drive from Orange Town Centre and has free entry and is pet friendly. The gardens themselves are beautifully maintained and as we were there in springtime, we were fortunate enough to see a lot of the flowers out in bloom. The main street in Orange has so much to offer, including boutique and specialty shops, cafes, pubs and other eateries. There's also a few different grocery stores around, including Woolworths, Aldi and IGA, which are all close by to the main street. And then of course, there's the wineries. We stopped by two wineries while we were there as we actually don't drink a lot, but we always love to do a couple of tastings when we visit areas that are well known for producing wine. Nashua Lane was the first winery that we went to. Unfortunately, they were fully booked on the first day we were there, so we booked in for a tasting on the second day. They offer two different tastings. I think one was 10 tastings and one was five tastings. We did the five tasting option and I found the, their wines to be really nice. They were really subtle on the palate, um, not overpowering or overly robust. And we ended up purchasing two bottles of their white wine to take home. The second winery that we wanted to go to was called Printhe, but they were actually fully booked for the entire weekend. So just a tip, if you're going to Orange and you want to do some wine tastings, be sure to book in ahead of time because they do get quite busy. So because Printhe was fully booked, we ended up stopping into a smaller winery called Montoro. They actually specialize in red wines, Shiraz in particular, and their wines are very much more full bodied and more robust. We ended up buying four bottles from here and here are just two of the ones that we purchased as we actually enjoyed two while we were there at our stay in Orange. So that is it for our trip to Orange and some of the things that we did. 
We hope this video has been helpful if you are planning a trip to Orange. We will link the wineries that we visited and the accommodation that we stayed at in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos of our road trips or any of our travels around Australia or overseas. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.